Hello, gentlemen. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the simulation that uh, I, you're going to use to do a fake lab. Let me have your hand out already, and now I'll show you how the sim works. Okay, so um, you launch the circuit construction kit. doesn't matter if you click on download or just run. It'll do the same thing. Um, and now we can build a circuit. So um, we can you know, put a battery here, put a couple of wires. I said wires and okay wire here wire here you notice that right now these charges these little blue things are just sitting there that's because there's no current that's because there's no complete circuit but i can create a circuit by putting these all together and hitting the play button and so now you notice we have a circuit very exciting um, i can click to schematic by the way um, it's not quite a schematic, because this, again, is not a schematic symbol for a light bulb, but this kind of looks like the schematic symbol for a battery, so let's let's uh, just be happy with that. Um, voltmeter, I can attach um, by hitting the voltmeter button and then putting it in parallel with the light bulb. That works. Nine volts. If I want to find the current, I can click on where it says ammeter. Okay, that gives me the option to put an ammeter in. But uh, remember, the ammeter's got to be hooked up in series, so I can't just kind of throw it in in parallel like this. So let's uh, click on one of these wires, and I'll delete it. I just hit the delete button. Then I'll throw this in here. I will put another wire here. Uh, note it kind of locks to these places. And voila, look at that. It tells me the voltage, 9 volts, and the current, 0.9 amps. So I can use those to find the thing called resistance. That's a voltage divided by current, 9 volts divided by 0.9 amps, uh, which is 10 volts per amp, otherwise known as 10 ohms. Okay, here's the thing. In this lab, though, we're not really concerned with finding resistance of a light bulb. We're just concerned with finding the resistance of a bunch of resistors together. A resistor is this thing, let's go back to the lifelike view, kind of looks like this. Um, it's got some stripes on it, and it's got a constant resistance. And we're going we're gonna to learn rules about what happens to the resistance of circuits when you add resistors in series in parallel. So let's start by pausing this, hitting the reset button. I want to start over. And now we will uh, put a battery. Now let's switch to schematic again. Okay, that's the schematic for a resistor, by the way. Da -da -da. I uh, get my ammeter back, and I'll put some wires in. Okay, and here we go. A little annoying, there we go, and hit the play button. All right, 0.9 amps, and I can put my uh, voltmeter on either side of that resistor. And 9 volts divided by 0.9 amps, so apparently the resistance of this resistor, I'll switch back to lifelike so you can see it, is 9 is 10 ohms. Okay, so the question is, when I add two resistors in series, what's their total resistance? Okay, um, how do I do this? Well, I can you know, take this away, delete, then let's take another resistor, let's put it here. I'll take a wire, I'll connect it here, stretch it out. And now we have two resistors in series. I could take this, uh, put it on either side of those resistors, and measure the voltage and measure current. And uh, there you go. If I wanted instead two resistors in parallel, here's what I could do. I would kind of delete some things. Watch. Now I added a couple of wires. I'll add a second resistor in parallel. Okay. I'll put it right there, and I'll put this wire back here. And here we go. Okay. Uh, I can again put this on either side of the resistors and measure the voltage and the current. Um, if I want to add a couple of resistors in series and a couple in parallel, I can do that too. Let me show you that. So now I'm just about done with two resistors in series, and then they're in parallel with a third. And I can put that there. And there we start. Okay. Again, I'm measuring the voltage for the total thing. And, uh, and the current for the total thing, so I can find some rules, maybe. All right, guys, enjoy.